Nine things to help you decide if a shortcut is suitable to help you do what you want to do coming up right now. Now, shortcut is one of the best free open source cross-platform uh, video editor that's out there, which means you can use it on your PC, Linux, as well as on your Mac. I started using shortcut five years ago, and since then, it has actually gotten better and better. And in this video, we will review some of the newer features and some of the other features that a lot of people miss that you will want to know so that you can decide if it is suitable for you. Now, no software is perfect, but by the end of this video, you will be able to know if Shortcut is the suitable or perfect software for what you want to do. If you are new to my channel, I review all kinds of software so that you can leverage them to create greater impact in your life. So let's dive straight into Shortcut. At first glance, Shortcut looks rather simple, but don't let the apparent simplicity fool you. Number one, Shortcut is totally free. There's no watermark. You can use it to create large or small projects. You won't have any restrictions on its export. And no, it is not a virus. Yes, I've been asked this question before. Number two, you can use it to edit 4K videos, but make sure your hardware meets the minimum uh, specifications. Full HD works well on my rather old one i5 laptop with just 8GB of RAM. So do check this out. Your mileage may vary depending on the computer that you own. Now, there's a large selection of effects and transitions. You can split up your video, slow it down. You have things like chroma hole as well as pitch correction as well. Number four, you have three themes for you to choose from, whether you prefer the light, the dark, or the system theme. So you don't really have to be stuck with something that is dark. Number five, multi-track editing. With multi-track editing, it means that you can use as many uh, video or audio tracks as you like, you can do things like overlays, pictures and picture, green screen, all that is available in a shortcut without any restrictions. Six, color grading. You can change the scene from things like some summer to winter, get the vintage looks. It is all up to your creativity. Now on the audio side, what I like is the large audio waveforms and audio scrubbing. Audio scrubbing just means that you can precisely cut where your speech is and it is great for someone who makes a lot of mistakes like me. And besides that, you also have audio scopes to help you with checking your levels that are consistent throughout all your videos. So you won't end up with one video that is louder and some that is too soft that actually starts to distract your viewers. Number eight, keyframes. Now keyframes allows you to do things like pan and zoom, motion text, change parameters over time. It just allows you to create greater effects with shortcut. Number nine, custom transitions. You can use images and other videos as transitions. How cool is that? Now the transition that you saw at the beginning of the video is a custom transition. I hope that all these nine points will help you to decide whether a shortcut is the video editor for you. I have a full tutorial on using shortcut. You can actually check it out on this link. And if you want to have step-by-step -step instructions, there's also a premium course. The links to all these are at the below this video. And if you want to check out some of my other video editors review that I've done in the past, both free and also paid, there is also a playlist right here and you can check them out right now.